And we're, we're live. And we are live. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, let's have a look at what we have done in this sprint for the uh, common stack October sprint. I'm just going to share my screen here. So first of all, as uh, managing this board is of course not a, a core priority. It's actually getting stuff done. I think it would be nice to start with just uh, like making sure that it's totally up to date. Um, when I'm just looking outside the edit as the scrum master, I can see we have completed uh, 17 issues. We have some here in the view still, quite a lot in uh, progress. And we have six uh, issues that are still blocked. And in the product backlog, we also have these two issues in this. Um, so anyone, anyone from the team uh, can help me clarify, are these still uh, in review or are some of these issues uh, further than, than what they are on the board? At least so for the, term, yeah, go ahead, Laura. Terms and conditions is like in review by the lawyer, but I don't know if I would consider that in review for our board because uh, like, I don't know, I feel like if it's still working with a SME, then it's kind of in progress. I, I consider review to be like, oh, the internal team member who is the reviewer of it is like, needs to review and say that it's done. So yeah, but it's it's very close. I, Griff, I assume you put that in review, but it might be a little generous. I might put it in, in progress. So I guess we are down at like this stage here. Lawyer's review. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sort of. And then we just need the confirmation and then hopefully uh, this part is going to be, be there. Yeah. Yes, we've gone through many lawyer reviews. <laughs> what about this one, Griff, with the uh, Heads for Humanity? So this is just a, um, they're onboarded, but they need a little bit of pinging. So it's almost, it's done, but I need to work with Chris a little bit on it. So, okay. and have him and hand it over to him. Yeah. And then Lorelai, did we finish the C stack registry sheet handoff? Mm, I wouldn't say it's done, honestly, but review is accurate. Cause like, I'd like to probably see you show, maybe show me what you know or what you think you know, and then I'll check off if I've properly handed it off or not. <laughs> Any of the other issues comes to mind here, the, the unsubscribe page, project manager, soft governance, which are in review already or, or are closer to get done? Mm -hmm. Or does it reflect more or less, uh, have you all updated and reflect more or less um, the state, uh, what, what we have done as a team in this uh, sprint? I'm Mind curious you. about budget. Yeah, this year? Yeah, Griff, is that maybe Done-ish? Um, so all the payouts are, have happened, but I haven't finished the, the last piece of, um, we raised like $6,000 and so there's back pay milestones for yeah. Jeff and I that need to be filled and I haven't filled them. And honestly, I was just, I just kind of gave up and said, I'll do it with, with um, this next month. Okay. It might be a good thing to, you know, cause I think last time we did this, we took some issues that were like, man, we got like 11 out of 12 check boxes on this issue done. And then we just take that one piece and make it into a new issue for yeah. the following. And this is totally okay for some of these here. Uh, if you think like, I actually nailed kind of the thing that I had in mind, you know, we can consider it, it done as well. Um, and then as you say, yeah, we can have moderation to it. And the blocked items at the moment, um, it's still also in fact, we still yeah. have the, the signing, statue signing in the C stack token that holding us back which is yeah, everything today. we had a, we had a real catastrophe with the c stack token dap we had a great project manager who was pushing us forward and then he had his laptop and phone stolen and now he's actually just got to leave costa rica and he should be back in the game on the second 
but we kind of lost like three weeks there. But there was really a lot of momentum going. I saw that. I saw some of the demos uh, that that, uh, that put together. So if it's going to be at the same speed, just like in, in the beginning of next point almost, then that, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. I think all the C-Stack stuff should, should actually be finished in November in like three weeks. Okay. Then as Laurel, are you not going to take so active part? We had some of the assessment uh, and also like handover um, tasks. Do you feel yeah, like... So the reason that's blocked is because we don't have all the people to hand things off to yet. Um, welcome, Chris. <laughs> uh, and I, yeah, so like between um, project manager and community manager, um, you know, we'll figure out who makes more sense to take this on. Griff was kind of was suggesting uh, that Chris take on the acceptance of applicants, um, but we'll just get to talk about that over the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I I did a like I did a like quick and dirty. Hand, or like not really but the bare minimum handoff to Griff so that like uh, acceptance of applicants doesn't get like totally halted while we're lining up our new people but it definitely still feels blocked by not totally having the new roles yet. All right so uh, in that case I think we're gonna go into the second part of the review where we're just gonna briefly have a celebration about all the amazing issues we have done 19 issues here and um, there's also a time for for some of you if you have if you have completed a big issue or the like or uh, traditionally in Scrum it would be a software uh, a demo if you have something you want to show uh, we have a bit of time to just like go through the amazing stuff we have done this week do you want to start with with some of the stuff you have been doing this week and should I share sure. my screen or, or do you want to do it um, well, I, I wasn't ready for that. So let me think. Uh, let's see what we have. Uh, well, I would say that we did an amazing job with the common simulator right now. And I guess I can share my screen. Yeah. And uh, show exactly. off some of the common simulator work. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. This looks, I don't know if this is going to work. Apparently, I haven't shared screen on Zoom yet on this new computer, so. Oh, shit. I'm just not going to share it, yeah. Mm. All right. Do you yeah, want to see anything this, in particular? Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a link. I can send the link. Mm hmm. Oh man, it's kind of up here. It's here it is. Okay, I'll just send it to you on Telegram, Gustav. Yeah. So uh, we have a really cool team uh, called Synthetics that's starting to do turn Marco's designs into an actual clickable prototype. So you can uh, click through here and you can start seeing the different things. The, uh, most of it is done. The big pieces that aren't done are uh, the actual selection tools are just like really basic sliders. And so that's the sprint this week. And, uh, but the rest of it, like we have this really cool story uh, that that is being implemented and we're working on, still working on the words and still working on the selection tools, but otherwise, uh, common simulator looks great. The big blocker, uh, or probably the slow step, is going to be CAD-CAD um, tuning, which uh, Jeff has been helping me find someone. And actually, because of Jeff's, uh, there's some serendipity happening because because uh, of Jeff's blog post. Uh, oh, keep going, keep going. It's done? Is no, it, no, uh, keep, no. No? No, no, that, that's when you get to the cool stuff. Uh, now we're getting started. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, you put in your name here and then, um, oh yeah, it's me. Oh, Griff Reese. <laughs> oh, are nice you getting married? Yeah, that's a nice ring to it actually. Uh, 
I, oh, I changed my name for you, buddy. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can click through here pretty quickly. Um, this is a like, pretty good question to ask, I'd say. I mean, a lot of people yeah. struggle. I love with this question. That's not a well, the idea. The idea is the players downloaded into uh, into someone else's body, so it's kind of a, a crazy experience. And then, uh, but yeah, click click through really fast. You can just like click fast. Uh, oh, but Jeff, so Jeff proposed, uh, Jeff made this really awesome uh, forum post and serendipitously we found, I found a dev in Cuenca where I happened to be flying, Cuenca, Ecuador, where I happened to be flying on Tuesday. So I'm going to meet up with this guy and try to onboard him to, who has a da data, master's degree in data science and has been playing with CAD CAD for the last couple months. So like, it seems like a match made in heaven. Uh, I'm going to just going to change my plans a little bit and uh, spend the night in Cuenca and have a hack sesh with him uh, on Tuesday. So that that really uh, clears the big blocker on on this, and I think we we are pretty much looking for a major success. Does this mean the milestone uh, for uh, the simulator is actually done? The part one, the milestone uh, specified um, in our web. The milestone isn't done because the simulator is not done yet, but okay. we, I would say we, ex we exceeded my expectations on progress for October. Okay. Yeah, so we still got some in here that are, that are not totally unresolved. Actually, a lot of these are done. Finalized design with Marco. I would say that's, that's pretty much done. Looks uh, like, I mean, for my opinion, humble opinion, uh, I think this is, Really, really nice. I love the designs and so forth. And I went through it fast, uh, but uh, there's a lot of stuff in there, really. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. So who's who's most been involved in this work? Uh, it's you and Marco, and and who else has been uh, involved? Uh, Random Shinichi uh, Andrew is our CAD CAD dev, our lead CAD CAD dev. He just needs support from a data science person to actually make the model make sense. And then we have uh, this dev team called Synthetics. And then we have. Uh, the Danny, uh, Danny Bell, Bella Vida has been working with the narrative. And that would, I would say that's the core team there. But Marco has been the lead. I, without Marco, we would have fallen on our face here. Marco really took charge and uh, started project managing this and carrying the flag. And to continue, any other stuff you think we should uh show to the external stakeholders of the team from this point, Griff, or anyone other? Any, I, any other I would love to hear the, the work that Jeff has done with the CAD CAD community. I feel like there's a lot there uh, and it, it deserves to be shared. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so on the CAD CAD side, um, we have a new uh, onboarding doc that uh, is about to be released. Um, Jess and I are about to do kind of a distribution campaign uh, for a new notion for actually, I guess I can share my screen if we are showing this to everybody. Just a moment. How do I do that again? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, oops, I'm in the wrong thing. There we go. Am I sharing yet? Oh, yeah. Trusted seed, we yeah, normally we don't use Zoom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the onboarding TLDR doc. Uh, so this is just the kind of a one stop shop for everything. You know, what is CAD CAD getting started? how to install, uh, instructions for that, all of the tutorials, I've been pulling them into one spot and kind of explaining what you're going to learn, um, learning about uh, CAD CAD quests, so how to um, create a CAD CAD quest. There was a couple things on Metagame and in the CAD CAD forum, um, some of Griff's amazing intro to CAD CAD videos, uh, and I mean, there's always more, of course, we can continue adding to this as um, more materials are available. Um, there is a CAD CAD Gitcoin bounty process coming together. So 
Uh, in other words, all the models that are out there um, are kind of like default models. And what we want to do is open up a bounty process that people can pick up one of these models off the shelf and add some simple functionality to it uh, and get paid to do so. That's the uh, Gitcoin grant that's been accumulating um, DAI for CAD CAD for the past couple of months. So that process is coming along. And then here is a gallery of all the existing CAD CAD demo models. So conviction voting, the Red Cross CICs, um, and a bunch that were done on the block science side and from other groups as well. Um, so there's the predator prey, verifier's dilemma model, Uniswap that Marcus did, some bonding curve stuff, um, some marketing adoption funnel things that are going on with like block science labs and other other groups. So this is kind of a, a one-stop shop for all aspiring CAD CADers that they can jump in, see where the models are at, take one off the shelf, add a bit of component, make some fun, uh, make some money from a bounty to learn how to use CAD CAD. Um, and then, of course, get involved in the community, joining a working group, um, and a lot of background reading. So this document is going to go out in all the CAD CAD channels. We'll pin it and you know use it as a useful um, onboarding resource. Um, other CAD CAD news: um, I just finished the CAD CAD um, uh, CAD CAD Edu. I think they're calling it. Um, this is very under wraps, so it's not launched yet. But uh, Jonathan and Ben Schultz and a few other people have been working on basically a comprehensive CAD CAD onboarding course. It is phenomenal. It explains clearly everything like from the differential specification to how to install Python and CAD CAD. Um, and they do a really great job walking you through every step. So I am blown away. Um, I think this is going to be a super useful resource for everyone in the CAD CAD community. Um, they're currently looking into um, sponsorships for the course because they don't want to charge people to take it preferably um, so they're looking for a number of like sponsors I recommended a few I said maybe even the common stack I don't know what our budget for CAD CAD is looking like um, but I think this is like a must uh, must use CAD CAD resource for uh, our community and, and the much wider community as well um, so yeah other than that I think we have a CAD CAD community call coming up Next week, uh, the first Wednesday of the month, it's going to be the Asia and Europe time zone. So unfortunately for people in North America, it's at like 2 a.m. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's at 10 a.m. Berlin and um, afternoon Berlin, uh, sorry, um, Bangkok and Sydney. And we have a facilitator and the topic is going to be um, dynamic bonding curves, uh, the new IXO model, which is like a bonding curve prediction market um, combined together. So super cool stuff. Um, anything else going on in the CAD CAD world? We're setting up a new blog. Um, Medium wasn't really cutting it, so we're setting up a ghost um, instance, and that's just kind of in progress at the moment. But um, otherwise, I oh yeah, and there's some uh, CAD CAD Luna um, OneHive overlap. So OneHive wants to take the existing conviction voting model that was produced in the Aragon collaboration and continue adding functionality like negative quadratic or negative conviction voting, quadratic conviction voting. And I mean, you can kind of go to the moon with the model. Um, so we're going to post in the one hive Luna channel shortly a kind of like modeling manifesto saying like, here are all the things that can be done with this model. Um, and then we'll break them out into individual sprints. Um, hopefully uh, we can fund more model development through one hive. Um, and just tackle those like one at a time. Maybe different community members want to take on different modeling tasks. So we're just trying to open it up to a group of interested developers and any way they want to continue improving on that model. Um, that, that'll be going out today as well in the OneHive Discord channel if anyone is interested there. And I think that's all that's going on in CAD CAD at the moment. Thanks a lot, Jeff. That sounds very interesting oh. what's happening. It's also an, a topic you really you know, if you're on crypto Twitter or in general, like CatCat -Cat is really starting to get a lot of uh, momentum. Um, a lot of projects are looking for people who knows about it. Uh, I've seen too. So that's, that's very nice to see, of course. Other people also are, are interested. Um, Livia or Lorelai um, or Jessica, would you like to share a bit what you have been working on um, in this month ahead? You can just be speaking or you can share the screen if you want. Or I can go to a page. Yeah, I can share a little bit of the TEC. That's what I've been working on the most. And I think there's a lot of uh, amazing things happening there. Um, maybe I can share the screen for, um, 
for the wiki that that we have that I think has a lot of resources in there. Yeah. So let me open here. I'm excited. I've never seen it. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it so big? <laughs> okay, so I don't know how it's huge. Me, but um yeah, but this this wiki came out of the soft governance working group as a deliverable and it's pretty cool because so many members of the community are just picking tasks and working on them wildly and it's very exciting to see that happening. So here we have the onboarding guide that is um, this document with all the processes that we did so far and and we have uh, the medium uh, the medium that Jess can talk a little bit more about it, but we set up a medium account that we have praise dishing every two weeks to acknowledge all of the work that has been done in the community. And then uh, we've been writing a post, uh, mostly Jess leading it, writing about uh, who were the people praised, uh, what is the work that has been done so we can incentivize more and more people to join. And we also have a list of resources with all of the documents produced. Uh, we've been putting uh, most of the documents inside of documents, so we don't have like infinite documents, but there's a lot of information here that you can look around. And this video that, um, that we'll load here is about the meetup that Angela organized a while ago that we explained a lot of what we were doing and mostly the contribution reward. So how do people get rewarded by everything they're doing in the TC? And it's mostly through praise. So um, yeah, that will be very exciting to see all of this work turning into tokens and people having agency to play with the comments. So yesterday there was a lunch. Uh, Sam was leading it, Grief uh, also in the tech spec. And we, we actually have a comments now to play with, and I have so many tabs open here and I'm not even gonna try, but um, it's, yeah, it's somewhere. Maybe Griff can show that in a second. It's the third tab, it's your third tab. This one? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> cool, so yeah, this is the comments. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a test comments, so it's a very play at your own risk type of thing. Who made this design? It looks fucking awesome. Marco. Yeah, Marco made the design. Oh, and Jess. Marco. And Jess, yeah. We, we gotta have Marco in the next call uh, and because like he's really increasingly helping on all kind of stuff, right? And it's amazing to see. Yeah, yeah. it's so amazing. I love so much this, uh, this logo. Great job, Jess, Marco, everyone that uh, gave inputs into it. So yeah, we already have some proposals up and all of the people that can play with this comments now are people that participated in the cultural build. And we have like a hundred people that contributed to the cultural build so far. It, it looks like a proposal pass because the common pool is $5 less than it was. Oh, so, that's a nice proposal. Nice. So someone passed and buy your hot chocolate. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, apart from this, we also have four working groups going on. The The legal working group was kicked off today and we're going to set all the parameters for how to protect members of the community when, when people are participating in this. Um, we have the onboarding, uh, initializing onboarding stakeholders working group that is to map all of the stakeholders to um, and, and understand how to onboard them into the hatch. And they've been doing a lot of interviews with people and they have an amazing mural board with, with, all this, um, uh, with all this information mapped out. And we also have the SoftGov working group that is understanding how we can follow uh, Ostrom's eight principles 
and the deliverables of it will be having a proposal for each one of the principles, making sure that we are aligned with them. Um, and then and then we have comms working group that Jess will talk more about it, that it's all community TC communications, everything, and they're doing an amazing job and there's so much being done and there's a lot of momentum there. And there is the tax pack working group that grief is leading and this is mostly the the outcome of of the tax pack and there's so much more to come it's like preparing all the tech for the lunch. Um, and then now uh, we have a conflict management working group that was born out of the soft golf working group, and I think we'll have a, a flow. We're understanding that this makes sense to have a constant flow of working groups uh, evolving one from another and in this way we can work all together in a fractal way and we've been pretty good at organizing the communication between these working groups because we have a community stewards um, group that is the people that lead all of these different working groups, we have a session to communicate between each other every week. And yeah, I think I think that's what's been going on on TEC. It definitely sounds like a lot of stuff have uh, been going on TEC for this month. Yeah. And, uh, this was also something we, uh, we, we decided as a team to really focus on in this sprint. Um, so it's, it's very nice to see that this has really been, been taking off in this sprint. Uh, so right. this one is a, is a bit uh, special because uh, we have Jessica here for the first time. Um, we also have uh, Chris here for the first time. And we have Lorelai who is uh, stepping a bit aside from the core team uh, and, and taking uh, um, a lesser involvement in the common stack. Um, can we hear a little bit about just you, Jessica, and you, Chris, uh, the new, new people, and then maybe Lorelai in the end want to, yeah. Have something to say in the end here for, for this time? I give them uh, sure. <laughs> I guess, um, yeah, for the upcoming month, I'm kind of splitting my time contributing to the common stack a little bit to like help support uh, in the transition. Um, and so right now, uh, Lorelai, I saw your message. We are going to finish the unsubscribe page, which was really awesome work looking ahead and then i'm gonna start um <clears throat> well i started a little bit but i've been pretty pulled into the tec i want to do a blog uh from the common stack side basically to engage with the common stack community because a lot of people don't know the difference between the common stack and the tec how it fits together so we have all this like huge you know 700 people in the common stack uh, community. So how can we start to uh, bring them into the TEC community and get them fired up about the hatch and starting to build on contributions. So I think a blog will be helpful for that. And then I didn't have time yet to work on the Trusted Seed Spotlight. So that's also going to be now in the first few weeks of November. I just have to edit the video. Um, and then I'm assisting Jeff with CADCAD because we're kind of the only two people doing uh, anything on the comm side there. So I'm helping to coordinate the Luna Swarm and like writing the proposal for OneHive and all the documentation to get the group kind of going. Um, and then uh, I'll be supporting uh, in onboarding and kind of helping to manage a few contributions. So Kat, uh, your roommate, Livy, reached out to me and Griff had asked if I can uh, see where she can kind of jump in on the TEC side mostly I guess um, and then Chris we have a meeting scheduled for next week so you can hear some things through my lens and I'm just going to throw the big backlog pile at you so we're so happy you're here and like you have some amazing writing skills so we're really excited that somehow you landed here <laughs> um, and excited to start pushing some of those educational pieces and content that have been just sitting there like half done. Um, Thanks and, a lot, then, Jessica. and this sounds like yeah. a good bridge to, to Chris, but sorry if I interrupted you, if you wanted to. No, that's okay. So, yeah. uh, and then I'm just going to give the mic to, to Chris. And the very first day on Common Stack today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Thanks for everybody for the warm welcomes uh, across Telegram and uh, all the calls, uh, Discord, etc. Um, yeah, first couple days kind of 
digging into things. Um, I've been really looking forward to um, really getting a chance to dig into the white paper in depth. Um, some of our content, uh, I've been going through the GitHub issues and backlog, trying to find out where, where kind of things are at, um, what priorities are, there are for the next uh, coming month. And, and um, yeah, kind of just getting my bearings around the TEC, um, around the concepts that we're, we're playing with. Um, and yeah, hoping to uh, solidify some of our communications practices. Um, I've talked to Griff about some of our um, permissioning and different things around uh, uh, our Google Drives. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to kind of taking some of those writing pieces to the final stages and pushing them, pushing them out uh, and then getting some new content in the pipes. That'd be, uh, yeah, really looking forward to hitting the ground running with you guys. And um, if anyone ever needs anything from me, uh, feel free to tag me, set up a call, whatever you need. Uh, happy to be around. So really excited to join you guys. Thanks for having me and giving me the opportunity. Awesome, Chris. Sounds like yeah. it's going to be a lot of great stuff happening. Sorry, Griff. That was, that was just one. Well, so the two things. Number one, just did so much this month, uh, and we didn't even get to review it. Uh, but I, I'll just really quickly say, like, all of the channels up for, for TEC, YouTube, forums, Medium, writing multiple Medium posts, uh, there's, like, an insane flurry of token engineering uh, commons work that just just has done. So almost anything that anyone interacts with, we have a Twitter with like 30 followers or something already up and, and all sorts of like, it, it's, it's been a wild ride. And then also the newsletter email, which was a, a battle uh, and, <laughs> but we got it out. Uh, so that was really good. And she also helped contribute to the Gitcoin grants and push Push getting the Gitcoin grants thank yous out uh, and and a lot more. And then uh, the other thing that we forgot to mention that was a huge time sink this month was hiring. It, we hired Chris. Uh, we have a project manager candidate that's really promising uh, that Gus and Jeff are going to hire. And then we have too many options for the second comms all rounder. So we're uh, we're we're still looking for that last. Uh, we're still debating on who to hire for the last comms all rounder. And then all the people that we hired or that we decided not to hire from the interviews, we pretty much just onboarded into GitHub issues and got into the flow. So we really got to put into practice the, the flow that you've set up, Gustav, and, and like start seeing how to hand issues to contributors and that whole experience. So, and we also hired Atta, uh, Atta um, from EXA, uh, to take on some cultural build work. Sorry, Jess, what were you going to say? I just wanted to mention two other things, if that's okay. Um, one of them is uh, a, a little bit of a block, or I wasn't sure how you wanted to move forward, Griff, on the Trusted Seed Bright ID. It's ready to roll. So if you, I know you've had so much on your plate, but if just let me know if you want to get that going. And then the second thing is actually something fun. And I think Lorelai, this might be something if you want to contribute will be like really fun and a really nice thing. Um, the, we, Livy and I were chatting, we had this idea for praise giving. So this month for uh, American Thanksgiving, we thought we've had a, actually a lot of community members in TEC say we would love to actually have a call where we're not just focused so much on work and like it's so compressed and we have no time and space together. So we were thinking of kind of like a state of the not state from Griff and like a year in review, just talking about um, all of the amazing projects, praising people, and then allowing and opening up sharing from community members to share like a project they're working on. Maybe somebody wants to bust out their guitar and sing a song, but like it can just be like an hour meetup um, and we can promote it in a fun way and do like memes and turkeys, whatever. Um, but I, uh, we're going to maybe, I put it on the calendar for like three weeks before we can just like do some quick little promotional things. And then maybe two weeks before we start promoting, um, I don't know if we want to do a doodle to pick a time, whatever, put it on meetup. But yeah, I thought it could be a nice way to have some good vibes. And, you know, nobody probably wants to do it at Christmas or New Year's. So if we do it as praise giving. So 
So that's something I'm really excited. And if anybody wants to jump in, it's like something light and fun up to break up all of the, the hard work. Also on that note, I feel like we've been stamping more and more this narrative of gratitude with the common stack. And I think this is so important to keep building on. And this would be a great opportunity to have that as a, like the culture, the community and the gratitude and yeah. yeah I was gonna say, this sounds like it's the real gratitude gathering <laughs> that we've been trying to do to just dish praise internally, but uh, yeah. This, this, this and Jeff, Jeff was like, I don't know people, there's, we have some robots, but we, I also was hoping like we have some beautiful like people from Latin America. I'm just like hoping one of them will just start singing or like Livy just sing in Portuguese or <laughs> it sounds really nice I think I think also that that's a really good idea there's also something catchy about the name Thanksgiving gratitude praise giving you know you could put the Maybe David, guess. The David can you sing, Thanksgiving or whatever can you sing us like a Danish Christmas song or something yeah I can do I can do yeah I mean maybe not like the whole the whole song because they're pretty long a lot of them but uh, <laughs> small small sample for sure yeah, I'm putting you in for five minutes, three minutes guest show. Yeah, three minutes is just like five percent or so. That's 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 all. That's <laughs> that's all right. All right. So um, before we are going too much over the thirty minutes intended for this call, uh, I'll give the mic to uh, to Lorelai if you have uh, something you want to say as well. Then yeah, you can I can uh, I can share some things. In some ways, I feel like uh, <laughs> a lot of the work that I've been doing isn't as show and telly. You know, I didn't get to work with Marco on any beautiful designs. Uh, you're talking about all the legal stuff now. <laughs> but voila, look at this terms and conditions. It's amazing. We have put a lot of work into it and it's in like final lawyer review this weekend. Um, there's a lot of nuance here, um, and really the, um, the, the output of this is that we are able to offer some like legal protection to people who are going to buy into commons, they're going to buy into the hatching of um, new economies. Uh, and so, you know, this protects like us as people who help achieve that mission, as well as people who are going to be participating in that. Um, and it's a necessary piece for being able to launch uh, the TEC in December. So, um, yeah, we put a lot of work in here. I've been working with Coach B a lot, which a lot of uh, you guys don't talk to Coach B very much. Um, I'm kind of the Coach B liaison, but he's our our legal connection um and we put a lot of great work in here uh i've also been working on hiring a lot so this is my little show and tell we got this guy yeah <laughs> uh so i started the month like really hardcore project managing the hiring effort and i'm happy to say that i feel like it's i uh, handed off well to griff and livia um in a way where like y'all seem totally energized about it and I can trust that you guys are actually pushing it yourselves now and so I don't have to like arrange every meeting and read every application and um, yeah so successful handoff there um, and on that note I've just been working on a big like handoff document um, which just just trying to download my brain of the past year and a half of common stack work a little bit for you guys so so there's something to consult although you're always welcome to consult me uh live by chatting or making a call happen um and then the other major thing is i set up this crm for us uh we're using hubspot uh, i've invited uh many of you to I think probably like five of you have invites to um, to log into this and I'm happy to get everyone else invites into this as well um, so that y'all can come and start taking notes in um, 
in these people's uh, pages. It's much better than the spreadsheets we were using before. And um, it's just a much easier interface to use. And I spent a lot of time getting a lot of data from different spreadsheets about these people um, in and, uh, and yeah, now it'll be a much easier tool for us to use. Uh, yeah, so that's my little show and tell. And then just like as a parting word, you know, like I, I'm around, I'm happy to support. And like, I have loved this work so, so deeply. It's really, really close to my heart. And um, I have a strong belief that like communities who are excluded from banking or excluded from like having economic sovereignty um, because they're either too radical or, um, or they're like a threat to some system of values or some system of capitalism that uh, that is controlling our main financial sectors. Like I, I really, really, this is like my lifelong work to try and have people um, have tools to like access economic liberty. Um, and so I feel so honored to have been able to work on this project. And I'm so excited for you guys going forward. And yeah, I'm here. <laughs> so I'll just I can stop sharing now. And then we can use the last 10 minutes of this call, I suppose. <laughs> yes, thanks a lot, Lorelai. And yeah, Chris, I just send, send you an invite on LinkedIn now. Thanks from the <laughs> profile you have there. Um, so I'm just going to say thanks to the team and uh, thanks for a nice sprint. And we're going to continue now with the, as you indicated, Lorelai, very fast uh, retrospective afterwards. So I'm just going to close here. Bye-bye. <laughs>